All right, we're, we're at camp. We made it. We are all set up right there. It's 9.15. Um, we, we got into the spot we always come to. It was our favorite spot. Uh, there's elk everywhere. We're in here for three days. So it's Friday morning. We gotta be out here by Saturday or Sunday at noon. So really, I guess two full days of just hunting, right? So. Um, we bumped into some guys coming in that were camped here all week and they've already uh, killed a cow, shot at a bull, and then one of the guys killed a bull this morning. Um, but they're leaving, so it's great. And um, so we're not surprised that they saw a lot of elk because this is just, that's their kind of spot. This is a really, really good spot. And so it's going to be fun. We got the boys with us. Um, Beckett's eight. Maddox is... Uh, 11 and Bryson's I almost said 10 he got it he looked at me he's 11 and then Bryson is uh, 10 and this is Maddox's last year without a weapon in his hand so I've, I've got to make it count this year because I feel like next year I'm just going to be a guide to try to get him on elk at 12 years old with a bow so that's going to be a mission for me next year to do that but we got it this is going to be fun hey what do you guys think we good yeah y'all tired uh, yeah. We hiked three miles, three miles in. Uh, Y'all had packs on your backs. First, this is y'all's first backpack in backcountry hunt. Fall down. They fell. No, Beckett's got a black eye, so that's not good. So his mom's gonna kill me later. But we're going hunting first. So before you die, Beckett, show him your eye. Show him your eye. Can you see it? Yep, there it is. It's gonna be black and blue. Let's go on. Another bed over there that's matted down. They were bedded right in here, man. Yeah, it's definitely a good bed. Fresh dirt. Yeah, you can tell. Hey, Sean. It rained last night, too.
I did hear him. I heard him. Yeah, he blew it like three times just now.
Dude, you had him twice. Oh. Like, yeah. You didn't stop to the call him. Yeah. Let's just give it one last chance, man, and end that funnel. Okay. And just that funnel looks so awesome. We left some milk over there. Let's just yeah. go see. Let's try it. Let's go do that. Hey, stop making so much noise for a minute, guys. We're gonna recap what just happened, so this video makes a lot of sense. So it's Sunday morning. It's our last day hunting, and um, we were camping up there. And last night we saw some elk, but we haven't seen any elk down here. This morning woke up. We were planning to back out because we needed to get out of here. We didn't. We shouldn't be killing an elk this morning. Yeah. But we are elk hunters and we're alcoholics, so we went after elk with no water. With no water. There's a water hole down here, so we, we we're gonna get some water. But it's gotten tricky. This this has been tricky. But we saw elk fighting down here this morning. We saw elk picking wallows this morning. We saw cows and calves. We heard bugles. Like we were getting up to leave and then saw all this. And what did we do? We grabbed our bows and we came down here to go hunting. And so we called in a spike. I'm gonna call him a full point maybe. <laughs> Cause he had a little nub, had a little but he has to have four on one side or five inch brown tines. And so he was a lingable. And so you'll see on the video, he came in within 10 yards. And uh, so we called him in, hey y'all quit. And we, this is what happens. Like we saw bulls and we still had this going. Dude, this nonsense. It's not I'm so drinking. It's nonstop, that's all it's been doing. So we, we told the boys, we said the biggest lesson that was probably most important was the wind because we were making movement and noise and coming down the mountain but we played the wind perfect and that bull he walked all the way up within 10 yards of me so he come across my crosswind yeah. and he smelled me sean was back across an open field coming after our bugles yeah. coming after the cow calls they were rubbing and scraping and you know raking and man he came in hot and they were gone they had already crossed <clears throat> back into the timber. We just knew they were in the timber somewhere, thought they might have left. We had kind of missed that opportunity where they were out in the middle. And he came out quiet, never made a word, never bugled, never did anything, and walked all the way up to where we were at. And then after that, so he spooked off. Um, we went to chase another bigger bull because we could hear him, but we're good at calling in spikes, I guess. I don't... Yeah, he was gone. <laughs> Big bulls on private now. So, this is the third year into the spot, and it's a, it's a tricky spot. And we were talking, so this is the first year that the boys have been in here. They wanted to come in here, and they've experienced what hell hole it's like. Yeah. yeah. But we... again, I get out of here. <laughs> but the water, we were talking about that there's no water. There's one creek. It's one source that we found, and it is in a nasty spot. Like, you don't just go get water from camp. You got to go do it. And so... It saved us from having to go back to the truck. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, like, yeah. Last, yesterday, I, I got dehydrated really bad, headaches and stuff like that. It got to me. Um, but it's it's a tricky spot in here. So I think it's a good lesson for all of us. Did you guys have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. When y'all are 39 and 48, are y'all going to remember this hunt? Probably not. Y'all are going to be awesome elk hunters when y'all are our age. I know. Just think about it. I'm going to go with y'all. I'm just going to okay. follow y'all around. Okay. And this is what Beckett's worried about. When he's 48, he's going to be eating food. He's going to weigh 400 pounds. He won't be at night. <laughs> Let's eat this. Where's the food at? All right. You got any wise words to say? Nothing? Nothing? Bryson? Nope. What was your favorite part of that whole thing? Yeah. And that game was 10 yards away. 10 yards away, yeah. Where's your favorite Don't be there? loud. That was your favorite part, don't be loud? Or that's wise words? That's wise words. Okay, and Bryson's was seeing the bull. 10 yards away. Yeah. You called last night. Mm -hmm. You got some responses. Oh. My favorite part is calling up four people. People. I did. You called him. Dude, I called him those two guys. Two, two separate Dude, hours. we don't have Tell that much. Tell me about that, so you called him, what happened? Um, two people were muzzle loaders came out of the woods. They just went back in there and they came out. And then um, two bow hunters came and I bugled back. They bugled back. And then you, we ran into them like two or three hours later and they said, yeah, we heard a pretty good bugle. We started coming after it. And then we were like, yep, that was, uh, it was an 11 year old that just did that. 
That was cool, though. Can you open this? All right. Give me another bottle. <laughs> Give me another bottle. Filling up the water bottle. Let me do yours. Yeah. Well, wait. We need, oh, to, no, do, I'm just, we need to do more. Just keep doing dirty yeah. for that. All right, so what it is? That's okay. Creek. Only a water source in three miles that we're aware of, and we've checked. This little water bag system is dynamite. <laughs> we love it. It's a lifesaver, man. So we brought enough water to get through Saturday, yesterday, but ended up probably Saturday morning because um, water's heavy. So we hiked in here Friday, Friday yeah. afternoon and found it because we knew if we didn't, couldn't find water, we yeah. weren't staying. So we found water Friday afternoon and so this Sunday morning we're packing out. But... Yep, that's the water source. Mm -hmm.